So we're here today with Bill. Hello, Bill. And we're talking about your uh, 19, what is it? An 80, 81. 81. It's a Porsche 928S, and it's one of the rare manuals with a dog leg gearbox. And, and how long you had the car? 27 years. 27 years, yes. yeah. Well, what yeah. made you want to buy one in the first place? Well, I had a, I had a ro I had a Rover Vitesse, which I really enjoyed, and uh, yep. I'd seen these up at the motor show many years before, and I made my mind I would like one. Mm -hmm. My son said to me one day, well, what, what do you want? I said, a 928S. So, and he, I said, it's got to be a manual. And why was that? Why did you want a well, manual? because I've always had manuals. So I, I did have an auto on, a, on another Rover, and I thought, never again. Right. And um, I, just, I just love manuals. Because of fact, it's when you're getting a good lick on, you come up to, to um, roundabouts and such like. You've got a lovely change down. You use your manual as a brake. No, I mean, it, oh, it's superb. Absolutely. I've had 27 years of fantastic. And how, how many miles have you done in her since you... Uh, well, I bought it with 52,000 on the clock. Yep. It's 90, 98 now. So you've used it sparingly. You haven't used it as a daily drive, no, obviously, have no, you? No, I've just you. I've got a property in Somerset, which I used to use it quite frequently down there and back. No, I haven't used it as a, for, for a commuter because I'm in building business, as you know. We have trucks and yeah, you don't put and such like stuff in that. Do yeah, you, it yeah. was really a. It was a. Car Take us around the car. Let's let's have a look at her. Yes. And what colour is her? What is, what is she? Well, they're supposed to be this um, something, the gold white or something. I think. Right. What was the colour it's supposed to be called? White so white, white gold. gold. Looks yeah. more like a light brown to yeah, me, Bill. What, what do you think? I, that's what I've, I've never really loved the colour. But when they say it's a white gold, and I've had so many people come up today and say what a lovely colour. Yeah. And it's made me now appreciate it. Well, there's lots of red ones, right ones, silver and uh, the dark blue. So this is quite yes. a isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And have you had a lot of spend on her over the years? No, I, honestly, all I've done with it, I'll put, all I've done is put two new front springs on it. Really? Yeah. I, That's I, what you call cheap motoring, yeah, isn't it? It is. It, absolutely. Do you remember what you bought her for? Those uh, 16,000. 16,000. Yeah, was, that was when I was 52 and I'm now um, 79. So... In terms of value for, for money motoring, it's pretty good value, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. And I've had a lot of classic cars and a lot of cars. And I'll, what the, 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 the build quality is fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. It's yeah. fantastic. I've had, I had an Austin Ely 104 for 37 years. Um, and, in, no, the build quality of these 9 to 8... It's, it's fantastic. And what's been your... Do you remember there's one run in particular you thought, wow, that was one that was a really exciting, hair-raising or stimulating drive? Well, of course, being I had this property, I had bought an old cottage and we were doing it up. Margaret and I used to go down weekends and use this a lot of the time. And this was... I'm going back now. Come on, I was only... I was, what, 52, 53? So in about, my 50s, about my age, in my yeah. 50s. yeah. And honestly... We used to come back from Somerset, which was Taunton, back up into Surrey, and it was nothing for me to just, just sit in it on 130. Really? And my wife used to be knitting there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, no, I, I, just fantastic. Have, have you done any body work, sir? No, no, I haven't done any body work, but what's happened now, the bottom of both doors has got a bit, I've got that lined up to be done. But I, other than that, I haven't done any body work. Should we have a look inside? Because yeah, it's quite, sure. a, quite a nice, unusual interior. Yeah, it is unusual. I don't know whether, it, as far as concerned, it would be a popular internal uh, uh, inside because it's this brown and then you've got this beige sort of colour. I'm not sure it would be everybody's choice. It's because, well, in other words, I was 52 and uh, I liked it because it was... Um, but I, I mean, I must admit, when you look at a lot of it here on today, when you see the lovely contrasts, yeah, this is a bit um, mundane, isn't it? A bit funereal. Yes, quite. So what are you going to do? Are you going to keep forever? Are you going to let, no, let the well, grandsons have it? My daughter already said she would like it. Whatever That's nice, prices. keep her in the family. And my son-in-law said, uh, grandson said this morning, Grandad, you're not selling it. 
I'll, I'll give you whatever you... What a lovely idea to keep yeah. it in the family, don't yes, you think? I, yes, I will. Yeah. But in the end, I won't take any money. I should just sand it onto them. I think that's really important. Yeah. Bill, thank you very much for sharing us with her. Lovely to talk to you. It's great to talk to people that have had the cars for so many years and got some really good stories. So thank you very much for your time. Well, and I've been so delighted. Are you going to give a little start for us? Okay. If I stand around the back, you start I'm giving a little bit of give yeah, us some sure. beans. Let's have a little <laughs> listen, yeah? So that's Bill's 928S, had it for 27 years, cruised up and down. From, and here we go, let's see if we can get a starter up. Non standard exhaust. What a car. What a great noise. That's Bill's 928S.